Okay, so we are learning about something called telescoping. And in the previous video, we understood what this means, what this telescoping method is. And we try to do one problem using the telescoping method. So you can check the link in the description to go to that video. You can watch it first, but you don't really need to because we will discuss some of it here as well. In this particular video, we will work on a problem from IOQM 2021. This is problem number 18. And the answer to this problem is 80, if you're just here for the answer. And we will use this problem to understand further what the telescoping method is and how we can use it to solve beautiful problems. Okay. So what is this problem number 18? First, I'll give you the statement of the problem. So here is the problem. Let's use a different color. The problem is find so the summation of k equals to 1 to 40 square root of 1 plus 1 over k square plus 1 over k plus 1 whole square. This is given to be equal to a plus b over c where a, b, c are positive integers. So a, b, c are positive integers or natural numbers and b, c, b by c is in the reduced form. So b is less than c, it's a proper fraction and the GCD of b by b and c is equal to 1 which basically means that you have cancelled off what you could cancel and you have it in the reduced form. So this is what is given in the problem. This is the question and we want to find out a plus b. That's our goal. And we want to do this summation, this sum of 40 objects. You see, if I'm going from 1 to 40, I have to plug in k equal to 1 here, then add that to k equal to 2 here, then add that to k equal to 3 and so on and so forth, right? So if you are confused with the summation sign, we discussed it in the previous video as well. But here we can say this, that this basically means you can, let me change the color one more time. This, this, this particular thing means this is square root of 1 plus 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 1 plus 1 square plus square root of 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 plus 1 squared and you keep on doing this until you reach 40. So until you reach k equal to 40. So this huge summation instead of writing it down we come we, we write it down in a concise manner in using this formula. Okay. So we will be using the telescoping method to solve this problem. And to do that, we have to do something with this square root sign because it's kind of bothering us. We cannot split things when there is a square root. In general, we cannot do that. So uh, we will take care of the square root sign first. So let's go to a new board and look at this expression a little bit more carefully. How can we get rid of the square root sign? This is what we have. So one thing we could do is we could take the LCM. So this is k square times k plus 1 whole square. So we have k square k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1 whole square plus k square. 
as the numerator. Now, it might seem that things got in a little bit more complicated, but if you do a little bit simplification, this numerator takes a very beautiful form. And what is that? This is k square times k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1 whole square plus k square. We can simplify this. Let's change the color. This is k square times k square plus 2k plus 1 plus k square plus 2k plus 1 plus k square. So this becomes k to the power 4 plus 2k cube plus 3k square plus 2k plus 1. Okay, now this thing you can actually simplify. Try to factorize this. I will not do the entire factorization. I'll ask you to do the factorization and put it in the put the derivation in the description in the comment. But the final answer would be very beautiful. It is k square plus k plus 1 whole square. Now this expression k square plus k plus 1 is a very important expression and one reason is this often comes up in the problems related to cube roots of unity. It's a completely different setup but I'm just giving you a heads up because you are solving problems like this all the time so you should be aware of it. This particular object, this beware of this learn about this because this comes and up over and over again okay okay so let's go back come back to this uh, final uh, square root again this is k square plus k plus 1 whole square in the numerator and k square times k plus 1 whole square so what we have got here is uh let's change the color this is okay this is different. Okay, this is let's separate this out. So this is equal. So now we can get rid of the square root. This is k square plus k plus one divided by k into k plus one. Okay, great. So now we are doing a very different problem. We are now doing summation of k equal to one to forty. K square plus k plus one divided by k into k plus one. So now we can simplify this. This we have still not used anything related to telescoping. We have just used simple simplifications, but we'll use telescoping in a moment. So this is k square plus k divided by this is this denominator is also k k square plus k, right? If you simplify it. So this is k square plus k by k square plus k plus one over. I could I, I keep this in this particular form so this is k into k plus 1 it's also k square plus k but for our convenience we'll keep this in this form and this one is of course becomes 1 so summation of k equal to 1 to 40 this is 1 plus I can split the summation now because I can separately add up the ones 1 to 40 1 over k into k plus 1. Okay, great. So, what is it that happens to this left-hand piece? Okay, now many students get confused with this particular object. So, I'll take a little time to think about it. What happens is every time you have an index rolled, you add a 1. So, for k equal to 1, you add 1, 1, right? I'm just saying 1, 1. <laughs> Okay, so for k equal to 1, you have a 1. Then you go to the next index. For k equal to 2, you have another 1 because you just have 1 here, right? So for k equal to 3, you have another 1. That's how this summation works. Every time you have the index going one step up, whatever was inside the summation, that gets repeated, but you just plug in the new index. But in this particular case, there is no place to plug in the new index. So you just keep whatever was there. So for k equal to 4, there is 1, 1 and so on. So there are 50 of the 40 of them there. It will go on for 40 times. So this is just 40. 
so we have to worry about just this particular piece so we are at the very end of this problem let's go ahead and finish this off this is 40 plus k equals to 1 to 40 1 over k times k plus 1 now the telescoping method will kick in what we will do is we will write the numerator this 1 as k plus 1 minus k it's very simple because k plus 1 minus k is of course 1 so what you get is 40 plus summation of k equal to 1 to 40 k plus 1 minus k and the denominator will be same in both of these pieces so we can cancel out the k here cancel out the k plus 1 here so we have 40 plus summation of k equal to 1 to 40 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1 this is where the telescoping happens so if you plug in so i'll just do it in a different spot so that you see this i'll just worry about this part okay and i'll show you how the telescoping is happening here this is first let's plug in k equal to 1 so we'll have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 then i'll plug in k equal to 2 so i'll have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 then I plug in k equal to 3 and I have 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and it will continue and you can see these pieces will cancel off and only the last piece will remain so that is 1 by 41 right because the last one was 1 by 40 minus 1 by 41 1 by 40 will cancel off from the previous previous step so we will be left out with 1 minus 1 by 41 so this particular piece right here is 1 minus 1 by 41 okay now can you finish this off this is just a simplification now i actually gave you the answer in the at the very beginning of the problem if you can put your answer in the description in the comment and uh, keep on doing great mathematics the link in the description will take you to more problems from iqm 2021 and other pro other beautiful problems as well i will see you in the next one keep on doing great mathematics okay